Hey, hey, puppies, and welcome to a huge day in Minecraft history. Today, Mojang denounced something that was massive, something incredibly huge that does not at all affect Minecraft or Minecraft Dungeons, but greatly changes Mojang and the way we see the Minecraft universe. Mm -hmm. Today, there was an announcement that a brand new game was coming to Mojang. Today, a game called Minecraft Legends was announced by Mojang on the Minecraft.net website and also on their Twitter account. Minecraft Legends, according to Mojang, is an action strategy game. As you may know, there are a few games set in the Minecraft universe. First off, you have Minecraft, which technically has different editions of Minecraft Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, which are kind of almost getting merged at this point, and they are the same game. But then there's also another game, that is Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft Dungeons is a dungeon crawler, combat based game, a uh, little bit of an uh, RPG game, RPG, yeah, yeah. Technically I've actually never played uh, uh, Minecraft Dungeons, which is a shame, but soon we should see some Minecraft Dungeons gameplay, but basically... There are multiple games set in the Minecraft universe. So Minecraft Dungeons isn't really a Minecraft spin-off, but it kind of is, because it's set in Minecraft, just more combat-based. Now, we have another, mostly, I believe, combat-based Minecraft game. Minecraft Legends. Strategy-based. So, without further ado, why don't we head over to the Minecraft.net announcement of this, and talk a little bit more about it, and maybe even make some little bit of speculations about it. And here is that Minecraft.net announcement. Here we are, Minecraft Legends, a new action strategy game coming in 2023. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because, like, I'm not really loud and you can just do that yourself. But it has this whole trailer thing here, which was quite cool to see. Always cool to see um, Minecraft trailers and things like that. The way they animate it is quite cool. But the story here is, the main story of the game is, that the overworld is uniting against an invasion and corruption of the overworld by the ravenous piglins. So this is set kind of at the height of the piglin empire, because obviously piglins, piglins used to have like a bunch of netherite and they ruled the whole nether, and apparently they even tried to raid the overworld and corrupt it. So one thing I found interesting here is... Minecraft Legends is a brand new game to illustrate the overworld being invaded. According to the legend, only you can bring together the mobs of the overworld and help them defend their home. The events you will take part in are neither fact nor fiction. They are simply part of a tale that we've passed down from villager to villager. That has been passed down from villager to villager. There are no records or evidence of the great powerful hero that raised their banner to save the overworld. All that remains is a powerful legend. Now, do they mean in Minecraft Legends or in Minecraft? Because the thing I thought about there is Minecraft Legends. It's all about Legends, it's all about... Yeah, you can get that, obviously. But one thing I did quite find quite interesting is they're saying that it's like the player is, you know, motivated. They're, they're, they are called upon, or in a way, to bind together the overworld and go and find a way of the piglins, which is fair enough if your home is getting destroyed by piglins, you probably would want to. Legends unique action strategy game. It has strategy elements at its core, but its mechanics are inspired by the immersion of action games. Not of Minecraft. Not the immersion of Minecraft. The immersion of action games. You get to explore a familiar, yet in many ways, new overworld in a third-person perspective. Not that you can't do that in Minecraft, but it seems to be always in third-person, which I believe is the case for Minecraft Dungeons as well. You will defend peaceful settlements and fight hordes of piglins to stop the spread of the nether corruption. So it also has defending areas, attacking areas. We'll see whether it's a kind of choose what you want to do, choose whether you want to kind of be more defensive or more attacking, or whether it's really set in stone storyline. Like you go to this mission, then this mission, then this mission, this is kind of how you do it. It's just whether you can or not, which that would be fine, but it would be interesting if it straight away from dungeons and regular Minecraft and went more heavily on this is how the game is going to be played, do it this way. You are the center of every battle you lead, fighting alongside your allies while giving them direction. So are we controlling a whole party from, you know, further back? Whether, I assume they mean like mobs rather than 
like other players. We will reveal more about how you achieve the monumental task of repelling the penguins invasions in the coming months. So yeah, they're still working on gameplay, it's fair enough, this game's coming out next year, they're not going to have everything perfectly released. Images here of the gameplay, this um, one was from the trailer, but we also have, have one here which looks like the overworld, looks like almost like a savannah in the background, that's been um, netherfied and now we're fighting with a bunch of penguins. Also, one thing I wonder, what on earth are these little things? They look like almost golems without heads. I wonder if that's kind of what they are, because they also, one appears in this next picture, which seems to be an almost capture the flag um, looking gameplay here, which also, it did say raise their banner. Banners are also featured here. So maybe, maybe we have some capture the flag elements. That could be interesting, but that's completely speculation. A large majority of what I say is completely speculation. There isn't much been said about this game yet because that's fair enough. But yeah, I am I am curious about what these little things are. They're like golems without heads or just stones being animated or something. Now, one interesting thing is that this isn't just Mojang that are making this. When Legends was still just an idea, we knew our hands are already pretty full with our two existing games, Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. Because Minecraft Legends needed the proper experience and focus to really shine, we decided to partner with Blackbird Interactive, BBI, a Vancouver-based studio that is working with us to bring the game to life. So, the way they make it sound is almost like BBI doing most of the coding, or most of the work, and then they're kind of strat- which, which is fine, but it is interesting. BBI has a wealth of game design experience, especially in the strategy genre, and a dedicated development team working on Minecraft Legends. Combining their strengths with ours is what resulted in the game's unique personality. Yeah, so it's not going to be, it will probably be the most different, more different than, um, than Dungeons is from Minecraft. We're thrilled by our collaboration with the talented teams of BBI and we can't wait for you to get experience the fun Minecraft strategy game. Now, I'm all about strategy games, so it would probably be pretty cool. This also has its own Twitter now, which is interesting, so you can check that out. It doesn't have anything right now except, like, the trailer, but in the future it should have its own, um, that's where most of the updates and things will come out first. They might release more updates on Minecraft.net because they like doing that, you know. But that's something to think about. It also has its own unique page here. Because, um, why not? Because it's its own game. So it has, uh, you can sign up for a newsletter there. The trailer. And then most of it is just talking about other things, news, get, you know, getting the news, things like that. One thing I found interesting is this. So Minecraft... Legends wallpapers. Bring the battle for the overworld to your favorite device with these high-res images. So that's pretty cool. Backdrops and uh, things for phones, screens, tablets. But the one thing to think about is, is Minecraft Legends going to be playable on all of these devices? So we have like a PC, a laptop, a phone and a tablet. So is this just where the background is going to be? Where, where their downloadable wallpapers are? Or and you're actually going to be able to play it on all of these things. I assume you'll be able to play it on at least PC and console, because that's how you can play Minecraft. You can also play Minecraft on mobile, but you can't play Minecraft Dungeons on mobile, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you can't. So it will be interesting to see. At this stage, I feel like you probably won't be able to play Minecraft Legends on mobile, but it's possible. Breaking down the fourth wall a little bit here. So I'm not going to show the whole trailer. One thing I wanted to talk about here, Wait, am I allowed to do this? Um, so we have that bit there, seems to be kind of capture the flag, but oh, wow, it's going really fast. So here we have the kind of capture the flag little thing, but here's the one thing I really want to talk about, is here, we seem to be in like a perfectly normal overworld area, but we're building a wall by the use of something that looks a bit like a gold alloy. That's pretty cool. So one thing Minecraft Dungeons lacks is any sorts of mining, crafting, or building. If Minecraft Legends has that, that'll be pretty cool. Now, by the looks of it, you're kind of, you know, this is a designated structure that you have to build. Like, it gives you a blueprint and says, build this castle so you can defend your villages. Which, if it's doing that, then that's fine. But, yeah, it would be interesting to see if there's more building aspects to it. There, it does kind of seem to be some sort of capture the flag thing. Possibly. But also, I want to talk about here. We have seem to be a raid on the piglin camp. So the piglin seems to be really tiny. But also what we have is some sort of straw 
box things that seem to be shooting like darts or something at the piglins. And these guys, I believe, are on our side. The little, yeah, the little rock guys seem to be on our side. They're like our our um, little minions. So that's pretty cool. I guess that's how you're really commanding them to do what you want. But yes, if you want to see the whole trailer, then obviously it's available to Minecraft YouTube channel, so check that out as well. So at this stage, there isn't too much for me to be able to say about this game, but it does seem to be very cool and will have a lot of work put into it in the future. It will be quite interesting to see how another game studio collaborating with Minecraft, uh, sorry, with Mojang, will make a new Minecrafty game. But overall, I'm pretty excited to see it in the future, and for now, puppies, I'll see you soon.